Hello and welcome once again to Caversham Central. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video and this one actually is something very, very different which uh, may or may not be of interest to you. So please don't feel uh, that you have to watch this all the way through if, if it's not of interest. But if you are interested in having good quality, um, realistic wagon loads for your um, for your wagons, then uh, you, know, you might want to, to watch this. Um, uh, I have over the years bought a number of loads um, for the, the fleet here from a company called Wagon Essentials. Now, I was looking to, to buy some some more loads from Wagon Essentials, and um, it turns out that the guy who, who did those loads has, um, has has sort of ceased trading. So what I've done is managed to get hold of the remaining stock, really, of the the Wagon Essentials loads, and they're available to to buy. So what I'm going to do is just show you the. Um, some of the stock that I've got available um, that there is more than I'm going to show you today but today I, I really just want to focus on the um, you know the modern image loads mainly it's for, for Backman and, and Daple but a few Hornby um, wagons as well um, I'll put the prices per load uh, on the, the video so you can see what you're, what you're paying postage is is four pounds irrespective of how many you buy so let's have a look at some of the loads i'll um, run, run through the the different wagons and um, and see what you think so first up we've got the loads for the buckman mfa wagons um, there's three different types of loads available uh, in front of you you can see the sand and stone i'll just zoom in you can hopefully uh, get a, a bit of a an idea of what they're all about um, now these have been handmade, so each load is going to be different. And as I hope you can see from the the video, um, they've been you know mounted up to look realistic, as if they'd been loaded by a uh, you know a digger at a at a quarry. Um, they've got a polystyrene base, and then the loads have been put on top, so they're they're very light um, and very 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 durable indeed. Now what I'm going to do is just show you how easy it is to to replace. Um, these loads so I'm just simply going to get a pin and pop it into there's the side of the load here and with a little bit of of work we can get the, the load out there we go so you can see it's a polystyrene base which has been made specifically to fit the wagon um, and then if we take ballast load here and one, two, three, there you go. You've got the load installed. And I think that looks actually very good. Um, so, as we say, first up is the, uh, the MFA, and they are available in sand, stone, and also ballast. Okay, next up, again, Backman MEAs. Uh, there's four different loads available for these. First up, uh, we've got the, the stone. And then moving along, next up we've got the ballast. I'll zoom in so you can hopefully see a little bit better. There we go. Next up is the lumped coal. So this is, um, you know, the, the, the kind of really raw coal. I think this actually looks fantastic as a load. And then finally, what we've got here is the, the grit stone. So a kind of a greenish tinge to the to the stone, um, but again, I think it looks looks very very realistic. Uh, there's multiple quantities available in in each of these four wagons. So those are the MEA wagons. Next up, we have got the Backman OCA wagon. Uh, the only loads that I have available for for this wagon are the the stone. Uh, loads, but uh, again, I think they, they they look really good and they fit just perfectly and neat in the wagon. So that's the Backman OCA. The next wagon we've got a bit more uh, bit more choice for, and it's the Backman PNA uh, wagons, which you often see in the the rail track livery. Um, for the PNAs, we have three uh, loads available. First up is the the ballast, and Sand side by side with it, we've got the the sand, and finally, I'll just swap this over for you again. You see how quick and easy this is. Get your pin in there, have a little wiggle. There we go. And 
and as you can see that's now been replaced with stone. So uh, you've got the choice of ballast, stone or sand for the Backman PNAs. Next up we have got the Backman HTA coal wagon and unsurprisingly it's got a load of smooth coal um, so yeah good good uh, big full looking uh, hopper there. Um, actually if you are interested I mean some of the work I've been doing on the um, the layout this month has mainly been around graffitiing um, wagons so we've got a good example of one of them here where the local youth have been uh, doing their worst. Anyway um, so yeah the the Backman HTA coal wagons and I think I've got about 10 loads in total uh, available for this uh, this particular model. Next up we have the Backman ZKA uh, wagons and two loads available as you can see on the left here we've got the ballast and then on the right we've got the stone so two different ones to choose from plenty of these loads available uh, and that is the Backman ZKA okay next up we've got the Backman MBA wagon uh, the old monster uh, monster wagons and two options available for these first up uh, we've got smooth coal which I've got to say looks very very good in these wagons and then alongside it okay, let's move these around view, hopefully I'm hoping you can see this okay you've got the, the ballast wagons um, so ballast and smooth coal on the Backman MBAs. And next up is the another Backman release. This will fit either the Backman POA or PNA wagons. Um, so all we have for this one is ballast, but plenty of, uh, of packs of ballast available for the Backman POA and PNA wagons. Okay, and uh, next up for a bit of variety, we've got a Dapple uh, wagon. This is the JNA Falcon wagons. I think they just released um, a new batch of these, so uh, not a bad time to, to, to get hold of the loads. Um, I have a number of loads available um, for, for ballast, as you can as you can see. So again, just a, a good load to fill up a, a large wagon, and, and a rake of those full uh, does look really, really good. So the Dapple. Uh, JNA wagon. So moving on uh, we now have the Backman HEA coal wagons and uh, unsurprisingly we've got two different coal loads on the left here zooming in you can see we've got the, the lumped coal and on the right we've got the, the smooth coal quite a lot of these loads available as well so if you have got a large coal train and you want to um, you know to get it uh, filled up and looking good then uh, this could well be the, the opportunity. So those are the HEA coal wagons. Next up is the Backman MTA wagon. We've got three different loads uh, for this particular wagon. First up we have got sand. I'll swap that out for the second load. Which as you can see is ballast. I'm going to push that one down firmly. And then finally, the third load is the, the stone. So sand, ballast and stone available. Okay, and now we've got the Backman and the Hornby Sea Cow and Sea Lion wagons. And these are very, very similar wagons. Um, let's start with the Hornby first of all. And what we have is ballast loads which uh, come in two, uh, two loads which will fit either side of the central dividing unit. Now these loads are also available for the Backman which is slightly slightly different but uh, the, the Backman also has um, two separate chambers so you can use the loads from the Hornby in the Backman. What we also have for the Backman is one single load which goes over the top of both uh, both of the chambers uh, and that is available in stone and also in ballast 
So we've got stone there, which is the one unit, and then ballast here, there we go, which is, as you can see, the two units. Um, these are the ones that I particularly like. I think they look great, but also I, I think the Backman ones do look, um, you know, really realistic as well. And if you've got mixed, mixed, uh, you know, mixed rakes of these two wagons running together, which many of you will do, then that you can get both bases covered. Okay, only a couple more loads to go now, and we move on to the Backman MOA. Uh, again, another big wagon. Uh, I have these in mixed rakes with the Dapple JNAs, and I think they look uh, look really good running together. Uh, only one load available for these, which is, as you can see, uh, the ballast. Um, also, just to, to point out, I mean, there are other loads available. Um, if if you um, if you're running sort of steam era, then I've got lots of coal um, and sand loads for uh, five, seven, and eight plank wagons as loaders as well as a load of other stuff so if if there's a particular wagon that you're after um you know and you, and you haven't seen it then let me know i will put another video up at a later date featuring uh, some of the other loads but th these are the ones that i thought would be of most interest to my followers straight away so anyway uh as i say the uh the the, the backman moa uh long bogey wagon and that is with the ballast load and then finally Hallelujah, I hear you say. Finally for today, we have the Backman JGA wagons. So this will fit any of the JGAs as long as they're the open wagons. Uh, two different loads available on the left. I'm just zooming in. I hope you can see that okay. Um, that's the limestone load. And then its, uh, it's partner is the, the stone load. I think these are up there with my favourites. I think these really do make the wagons look really, really good. Um, so that that's all of the wagons that are available. Um, if you are interested, then just pop a note on, on the comments or send me a direct message is probably best, and we can we can sort out getting them to you. Um, I'll take payment via PayPal. They are also available on on eBay. I'm going to list them on eBay, but. Um, they're, they're going to be cheaper if you buy them directly um, off the, you know, for, for, for me rather than going through eBay because obviously I don't incur eBay fees and that kind of thing if I'm selling them directly. So, um, it, you know, obviously entirely up to you if you'd rather go through eBay, that's fine. Um, but they will all be well packaged in cardboard boxes. They'll all be sent, uh, signed for delivery. And as I say, £4 uh, flat delivery charge for, irrespective of how many loads you want to buy so if you are interested um then as i say send me a message let me know what you're interested in and, and, and the numbers and i'll see what i can sort out for, for most of them i've normally got sort of 10 or so loads available um, thanks for sitting through this i hope it's not been too boring i absolutely promise i will get a running session going soon um, I, I really will um, in the meantime um, thanks for for looking in happy modeling and uh, I, I will see you all again soon cheers